Let's do this. Detroit, other round, episode six. Three, two, one, play! After Samus sets out for Sector 3, the exam center explodes. Uh, well, that was a few episodes ago, but... Adam then informs Samus that there might be survivors in Sector 2. Samus sets up for Sector 2. But what... what about Sector 3? There might be people, you know, getting a sweet suntan in Sector 3. We, we kind of forgot about all the lava and all that. That would have been important, don't you think? Maybe? Perhaps? Hot springs! You know? Hello! Uh, oh, uh, that's that's exactly what Other M needs, is a hot springs uh, episode. Yeah. Especially since there's only, there's only one girl and five burly men. <laughs> All right, that wouldn't be too bad. All right, on with the hot springs episode. Welcome back to Metro Another M. <laughs> Just load up, and Samus is in a power suit bikini. What? How does this even? Uh, we... Sam Samus, I'm authorizing this. <laughs> we... But it's cold out here. <laughs> we, Samus. we have authorized <laughs> the bikini in the Arctic nothing. area. Why, why, I don't want to be in a bikini out here. It's bad. Don't like it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, doing kind of a roundabout thing here in Sector Two. We got like uh, this uh, this this episode. Except for a few hiccups, it might be okay. We're gonna have to, we're gonna find a lot more positives here. So starting out, we're just kind of going around here. We got an ice hive now. Makes sense. They had a fire right now. That's an ice hive hidden by the mini map, but that's okay too. Okay, there's a missile under here. Legit question. Mm -hmm. I love ice areas. I love how they look, and I just get a, a surprisingly a warm, tingly feeling whenever I think about ice areas and how they look. I just love the shades of blue and purples they're allowed to use. Oh, I get you, I get you. That makes, that makes total sense. So, do you like ice areas? And I'm, I'm not talking ice physics, I'm talking ice areas. Is that something you're okay with? I just like areas and games in general. Like, uh, when you, 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 you say ice areas, I think about, uh, you know, one, you know, uh, Mutsu from Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. That towards the end of the game when we go north and it's all snowy and stuff. Yeah, I like snow. Snowy areas, that's good stuff. But, uh, see, I, I love me just just beautiful locales. Oh, by the way, we have here a, wo a, a Volfon. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that. They're, they're wolves. Uh, with they, razor blades on their face. They're, wo they're wolf goats. They have razor blades. You can shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> that almost looked like you were beating it in the back of the head. <laughs> no! There's four of them. But, uh, good, good ice games, uh... Or ice, ice levels, because, you know, one of my favorites I, uh, that I go to is Lost Planet Extreme Conditions. That is pure snow and ice, yeah. That, that is pure snow and ice, and, uh, except for a couple of hiccups, I, I, I like that game. That was a good one. I like, I like that, that, uh, there's a ticking time mechanic tied to how, to your body temperature. Yep. You need to get out of there quick, or find ways to warm yourself up. It had mechs in it. Always a positive. Oh, this looks so good. We got, yeah, this is, uh, this Ooh. is, um, the water room, I think. Wa wa water park. Yeah. Room, something like that. I like all the ice, and you can see fish swimming around. Oh, it's actually water. Yeah, the water like... texture wasn't moving. I thought it was ice. Oh no, it's 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 water. Ah <laughs> oh, shoot! Out in the open here is a missile tank in case you needed one. You're now at twenty-five. Nice. Making some progress. Yep, I like it. So we got to do some roundabout things here. We're gonna come back to this room a little later. Oh, you're just making me think of when I reached a snowhead. For the first time in Majora's Mask. Snowhead terrified me as much as Majora's Mask did. It took me forever to get past Majora's Mask, because I was able to beat the first temple, and then I couldn't figure out how to get bombs. I haven't beaten Majora's Mask legitimately yet. Ooh, I have. I, I think I need to. You know, it's on Switch Online. Yep. I could give it a shot. I got the 3DS version, Give but it another try. Sh should I do the 3DS version or the N64 version? Uh, do the 64 version. Okay. N not to say anything is wrong with the 3DS version, but it was made with Circle Pad Pro in mind. Having the save state would be nice, too. That, too. Although, I haven't actually checked the different quality of life improvements for Majora's Mask, if any exist. So, that, the, that, the bomber's be curiosity. No, the bomber's notebook is better. Well, that's that's already an improvement. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do, I do adore the, th the 3D and the 3DS. Yeah. It's, it's one of the things that was always like, oh, wow. Yeah. And I, it always broke my heart that they kind of forgot about that later on in its life to in favor of more CPU power. Yeah. It's tragic. I will say one of my favorite things that I've done in Mojora's Mask 3D is wait till day three, wait till the moon is falling, crank up that 3D and check it out. That face in 3D coming right at, coming right at you. Yeah, I love Ocarina of Time 3D. Good effect. Yeah, that too. How much snow did that one have? Not too much. 
Uh, it had uh, the ice cavern. And yeah, the yeah, adult it, levels ice, it was ice cavern and frozen Zora's domain. That wasn't really an ice level. Nah. This right here, I'm still enjoying this. I don't really like um, the ice levels in uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Sliding around too much. The the Hebra Mountains are not my favorite because anything cool is hidden under something. Oh. No. It's it's mainly featureless and it's just unaccommodating blizzard mountains. Samus needs to find a spicy pepper. Yeah. <laughs> increase her body heat. All right, we've come to our main goal of the episode now. I thought those were ants. After this guy. I thought those were ants. <laughs> Oh, jeez, now that This is a Giga Frog! I, I beg your pardon? It's a Giga Frog! Giga Frog. Giga Giga Frog! Okay. It's kind of like this game's version of She Goths. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, shoot it in the butt. Except it's got, like, a, a rocky uh, horn and some antlers. <laughs> it makes a caribou with a frog and it's then only they it's, a, it's only really vulnerable in the back. Shoot its giant ball sack. Excellent. What you can also do is you can shoot a missile at its uh, rocky exterior and do a lot of damage that way. Oh, okay different ways to fight. Oh, yes. I like it. But this thing needs to be dead. But it's this, it's one of its kind. You're making this uh, this uh, disgusting abomination oh, we'll extinct. See more. Oh, oh. So I, I, I blew a missile at him, and now his horn is cracked there, you see. Oh, that's nice. That means I can jump on him and do oh! this. Oh! That's how you really kill these things. That was cool. Because then he does that, and here's how you kill him for good. Right into oh, the old cerebellum! Jesus, right in the brain. So that's cool. Even to the superhero landing and everything. It's yeah. great. It's great. See, I still think one of the best... One of the best things you can do in Dread to assure players that, you know, you're in good hands is when you beat the first boss and she just does the... Like, holds up the arm cannon just waiting for it to strike. Jumps through... Like, shoots it as it's running towards her. Jumps through its tail and then lets the environment kill its... kill itself. Dread Samus doesn't wax poetic. No. In fact, she only speaks when she has to. In the presence of another Chozo. What if she had... I mean... She's had monologues before. I've played Fusion, I get it. Yeah, but, but, they, those but they were like, voiced. They, they were mostly expositional, too. That, too. I, and I wouldn't be against a voice Samus. You can voice Samus, it's easy! You just have to have someone who, you know... Watches English media to know what, to know what stoic means over there, or directs English media. <laughs> right, yeah. So that door over there, that one right there. Yes. Okay. That's our goal for this episode. Okay. We're gonna do a lot of stuff to get that door over there, but to do that we have to go through this door. I think I know what we're getting next. What do you think we're getting next? The screw attack. Sure. Just a thought. That's a that, that's a, that's a good thought. I'd I'd like if we had the screw attack. That'd be cool. Maybe you're right. I'm just thinking of how this game does traversal, or possibly the space jump, whichever comes first. Right. But you're right, it is something to get us across that gap. We're not inventing a new bridge or raising anything. We, we are going to get something traversal-wise to get us over there. But to do that, we have to go through a bit of a gauntlet. Awesome. No sequence breaking here, buddy. Nope, we're doing it all legit because we're doing 100%, of course. Well, we could get over there, but we need the super missile. Aww. And the super missile is the thing we're not getting. Adam does not want us uh, using that. Well, he doesn't want us to be a bigger threat than his widow moines. Adam, can I use a super missile? That's what I thought. Will okay. it make us look bad? Yes. Then no. So, Wait, what's the point of this? If, if, if the story... We gotta wait until the wind stops blowing. If the story involved being more combative towards Adam, as she apparently was back then, you know? Like, maybe we, you'd have something, because I'd I love to go against Adam and his stupid I-know-what's-best-for-you player attitude. Didn't she technically do that in Metroid Fusion? Yeah, and that was probably the defining moment, where she's like, Metroids, HELL NO! I hate these things. These things can die. These are Kyrations. This, oh. is, this is where the game decides, hey, you, you know when uh, an enemy does n uh, damage? Let's make that its main gimmick. <laughs> Let's... I saw it. I saw it actually flick one of your blasts away. This is an enemy that I guess when it's uh, charged up like that is practically invincible, or at least uh, I need to sneak up on it with missile attacks. Okay. And we all know how intuitive it is to use missile attacks on this uh, very fast enemy. So it's really just kind of waiting around until it decides to be vulnerable. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. 
So you and, got that, and then decide, oh, okay, I got that one, too. Yeah, there you go, you got All it. All right, there you go. So I guess I just gotta get lucky. You just have to wait for him to stomp on the ground and then take pot shots. Underneath here. Oh, hey. Eventually. Is a missile oh, there expansion. we go. Hey, yo. I was about to question why they have you go such down, uh, go down such a long hallway, but then I realized you'll be able to see it in the next room, almost guaranteed. When the door just opened. And... Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I'm supposed to look over there and go, "Hey, is your missile oh, expansion? Hey, How do we get that? that? How do we get that?" <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He's just, he's doing a little vibration there in the corner. This camera angle does not do the game any favors. Eh, it's just still working. I am out. It's it works until this stuff like this happens. Well, if anything, you're just trying to find a way to get uh, shoved through the door, speedrunner style. M no, most of my view is obscured by the by the wall of the other room. Okay, that doesn't help. Yeah, That's, that part yeah, is, this is a bit of a pisser, so yeah. you, you don't want to deal with that. But you know what? It's Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden had that problem too, so Ninja let's just Gaiden, deal with it. Baby. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden, except I think Ninja Gaiden had a camera reset button, but you know, whatever. We're dealing with the Wii. We probably can't handle that. Probably has to do a whole lot of, you know, that would require bending around in gymnastics just to get it to run like this. Six months worth of programming. Just how do we get the door to be? How do we lower the opacity of the door? I mean, I guess that's another that's another positive for for the Wii. This game runs beautifully. Mm -hmm. You know, no crashes, no frame drops, except for some cinematics here and there when it doesn't. Oh, matter. hello. Oh, Giga Frog, hello. Well, while we're fighting this game, uh, you know how I was talking speed runs about this game? Yeah. Uh, I want you to take a guess on what the fastest current time uh, scored four months ago, I should mention. Um, fastest time for any percent. 28 minutes. Ooh, no. Too much credit. Uh, an hour eight. Uh, a little too much credit. Two and a half hours. A little less. Two hours, 13 minutes. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. How about 100%? Uh, this is what blows me away. Five hours. No. Eight hours? Nope. Lower. Oh. Four hours. Lower. Three hours. Just a tad lower at two hours, 55 minutes. Ooh. Wow. So just slightly more. Well, we're not more. fucking doing that. Yeah, just slightly more than any percent. That's fabulous. And then hard mode is an hour 57. That's that's outstanding. Hard, hard, mode's, a, hard mode's a scam. You know what you get for beating hard mode? Uh... Do you get something in the gallery that doesn't exist? You get... <gasps> a whole lot of nothing! A whole lot of nothing! Oh, that's hard, a great reward. Hard mode only exists for those who want to play the game harder now. There is no reward. Oh, did, I, there's, you, not even a, there's not even any sort of you know indication that you beat hard mode. It's just you did it. No extra art, not even a gallery act at the end. And this is before the Wii really took advantage of like in-game achievements. They still don't do it at all. Only a few select games actually had in-game achievements. You know what I also hate seeing? Huh. Piddly option screens. Oh, with like two or three things that you can adjust? I think it has like sound mode, mono or stereo, and subtitles on or off. Wow. That's okay. it. Just imagine if, that, hit, like, if somewhere hidden in the option screen was the ability to change the Wiimote to a button. Would that piss you off, or would it make you happy? Well, I, I pour it to the option screen, and it only has two things. I know, but just imagine, if you will. If I didn't do the right input code, of course. Yeah. There's uh, a pipe up here. Ooh. See, I'm glad you're showing me this, because half of these, I don't even see before you end up doing them. Because they're not hidden like, you know, a typical Metroid game is, where I have to, like, you know, bomb a wall and go through something. It's right. just, hey, you see this pipe? This innocuous pipe? It goes somewhere. They're, they're hidden a lot like Ninja Gaiden things. All right, um, hello. I gotta bring back a little running gag, how uh, I always have, like, the worst room in the game. Mm -hmm. This is this is Top Contender. Top Contender for worst room in the game. I, huh? haven't, I haven't been to every room in the game yet, but this so far is the absolute fucking worst room in the game. Okay, so we got this guy who's just off in the distance, swiping away your bullets. So, so there's a lot of things that happens, and we got not a damage over here. It's like he's just, you know, not, just, just not doing it, just not having my attacks. I have to basically avoid his attacks to shoot down those stalactites so they oh. come down and, and work as platforms so I can get over there. The camera's not doing me any favors by giving me a place I don't want it to be. I'd really want to point at the thing that's shooting at me, but that's okay. Okay, so... So I, so I get over here so I can hurt him a little bit, then he jumps over there. 
and the same thing happens. Mm, bunch of nuh-uh damage. Mm -hmm, bunch of nuh-uh damage. Okay. And uh, if I fall in the water... Oh, you have to slowly go back to the beginning. I have to trudge my way back to the start and try again. Luckily, it's not that bad of a, of, of a time loss. Just a few seconds, but they are bitter seconds indeed. Mm, that's rough, buddy. Those are those are seconds where you're not doing anything. The enemy can't reach you. You're not making any progress. You have to just it's it's you essentially just sit there. It's essentially a loading screen that yeah. could be longer if you don't do it right. Um, the more the more you wait around, the longer you gotta. It's it's just and that can happen. Oh, uh, oh, uh, the the pushback when hit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh lord. Oh yes, yes. I All do right. not like it, friend. So I get over here and he's still doing his little uh, damage, his little joke there. Now he's got a kick, that's nice. Oh, there's a second one. Uh-huh, yeah, oh yeah. Oh. There's a second one who's shooting a lot more beams that way because he knows that he's far away and he's distracting me. That's cool. This is a very Ninja Gaiden thing to do, Team Ninja. Ah! Well, this is why we do it. It's so annoying that I have to, I, that, like, when I want to switch to missiles, it takes a whole second! Oh, it is, it, it, it is an app. Get here. Oh, how, are you, how are you doing today? Well, I mean, yeah, I could, yeah, I yeah. could do better. Just, like, fl flip the video out of the way. How are you, how are you doing? It, how, uh, well, how, how's the G Fuel? G, G feels all right. It's Sonic flavor. It's like peach rings. You know, it's... <laughs> it tastes like hedgehog. <laughs> oh, please tell me it um, tastes like hedgehog. It tastes like a peach rings energy drink. That actually sounds pretty good. It's not bad. See, I actually didn't think G Fuel was that interesting because I thought they was just advertising to gamers with a really crappy drink. But then again, it's been a while since I've had G Fuel. See, that's what I thought too, and then I saw that they sell their formula in like 30 ounce like cases that you can scoop and make your own mm -hmm. out into. Like, well, maybe it's not that, maybe it's not that bad then. So you know what flavor I miss of just any drink ever? Is specifically the Halo 3 Game Fuel. That, that that was a time, wasn't it? That was such Damn a time. That was such a time. I'm not making this jump. It was so good, and it was just very odd to see Vigi Game on can of Mountain Dew. Now it's just oh geez, well I, I wonder how I'm gonna get double XP this time. It's now everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I went grocery shopping and saw, I I bought crackers and it said earn extra experience in Minecraft. I was like. Excuse me? Why, because the, the crackers are square? and Yes, because it looked like a square. All right. So those not uh guys are gone, and that's annoying, but now we have a really annoying missile expansion. To I get. see it. Yep, uh -huh. I see it. You gotta there's no, drop, uh, there's well, no drop down, is there? Oh, actually... There's no way to really jump up there. You have to basically just fall into it. Uh-huh. Well, at least the guys are gone. It's Yeah, they have to be gone, but it's it's a really annoying jump to make. I have faith in you. You can't make that one on the right. That one's even harder. This one over here is the easiest. It's probably because it's straighter. There you go. Hey, there you go. Second attempt. You basically just gotta kind of fall into it. If you played Metroid, then you know how it feels. If you, and, oh, yeah. And if you've done a, a 3D game, it's... it's Oh, it's awful. 3D does not do this game any favors. <sighs> just trudging along. Like, they say that, that they tried to make Metroid 64 and it didn't work. I have a feeling... It might have looked a lot like this. Most likely, yeah. Imagine controlling it with the N64 controller. All of a sudden, everything makes so much sense. <sighs> everything makes so much sense now. So that leads me to believe... This came after Super Metroid. This is Metroid 64. Well... This is what it was going to be. It, only, it came to the Wii. We have the prototype for Metroid 64 right in our hands. Now I'm thinking if we would just, you know, cut all the story stuff and just did this... Well, there's no way the, the 64 would have been able to run this. Oh, I know. It, strictly downscale. I mean, we're getting in the boring uh, warehouse levels, but ooh, there's a cutscene here. Importance. You can see the look on my face. 
That doesn't look good at all. The creature's corpse showed signs of what looked like Metroid predation. Of course. Making my mind race. Of Metroid? course. You can, yeah, you can tell. This is my mind racing. Oh my god. Impossible. <sighs> Metroid Don't flip. Can't tolerate cold temperatures. The Federation does this all the time. They couldn't survive in this environment. Yeah, this would have been a great thing to tell Adam. It's like, Adam, are you the seeing south, this? Metroids! What's happening here? Are there Metroids here, Adam? Maybe are there fucking the Metroids here, Adam? Are you guys making Metroids here in the Federation, Adam? What the hell are you doing? He's still asleep at the monitor, unfortunately. Adam! <laughs> you actually got a snort out of me. I hate it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You gotta yell at the right time. It's all, it's all about timing. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You can do that. I was curious. There's only one thing in here. Everything else is a dead end. But in here is a missile expansion, number 29. So you can do that to all the fans? Yeah. Ooh. There's, there's only two of them. This one has the missile expansion. The other one just... Has nothing. Has nothing. That's fine. Plenty of them have nothing for the promise that maybe one of them might have something. Exactly. And so you have to check every one because one of them might have something. I'm, I'm, I feel like that there are a lot of people upset I didn't go to the that other one, but trust me, there is nothing. And when they get the game for themselves, they're gonna go in and check and see that there is nothing. There's a Giga Frog here running at us. Would have been a good time to use a missile, but you know how you know how these things go. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. These things are all hat now. So you know, um, we were talking about how the fire area just doesn't make logical sense within the confines of the game's story and everything. This sort of does. Exactly. I was thinking these are burst pipes, burst cooling. Agents. There'd be a reason to have super cooled places in a in a research lab in space, but to have Correctly. boiling lava in space doesn't don't, seem plausible to don't, me. Telling you, man, hot springs episode. You don't need boiling lava for that. The only the only hot springs episode I've seen that has boiling lava is Outlaw Star, and that's where you get the best complexion. Shout out to all my Aisha clan fans out there. <laughs> we are Katal Katal United. <laughs> I always like Outlaw Star better than a Cowboy Bebop. Am I weird for that? I know that's a controversial opinion to take, but I don't really care much for Cowboy Bebop. Everybody is allowed to have an opinion, and you're allowed to have one that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Although I would like to. Watch I, I mean, Star. is is the Cowboy Bebop one wrong? Ooh, that was a good turn. Now I still have to watch Outlaw Star. It's on my list. I, I, it's it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more like why I watch anime for like the fun, not you know, to ruminate over well, you know. Well, think think about it this way. Things. Think about it this way. Yeah. Bebop is made for people who do not watch anime. Outlaw Star is made for somebody who it, who has enjoyed anime and wants more enjoyment. I'm I'm a real big fan of 80s and 90s anime though. Like the that'll do it. Like oh, all Dragon Ball Z is screaming and all that. Well, yeah, because they're trying to keep us stringed together for weeks on end on a television show. On some on a manga that was like like this scene right here. This took half a page, and it has to extend to five minutes. I, I don't know. Manga has its own uh, conditions like that too. I'm just saying, Namek took forever. I see. <laughs> and it was over in like what three volumes or something like that. There was one manga I read, Dance of the Vampire Bun. It's like let's have a contest to see who can kill the boy before sunrise. That took two whole volumes. <laughs> Extend the story a little bit. You know, draw a couple extra panels. Then it was great when it all ended at the end, because there, because it, it, it's all about the payoff. It's all, it's all about, you know, anticipation and payoff. That's why I don't like Dragon Ball Z Kai. Oh, because they take out all the anticipation. It has no filler, bitch. I love the filler. The filler is what makes you feel anticipation for it. It's all like leading up to something. It's like, ooh, something's happening ooh. over here, and then you see all the stuff that's happening on, you know, you know, outside of it. So you got these character moments. I will say it's going to come in handy later. Goku turning Super Saiyan was well worth the wait. Watching the anime, it was literally half a page in the manga. Yo, I'll tell you what. For weeks we were talking about what happened on Dragon Ball Z. It's like, oh, you see what happened on Dragon Ball Z? Oh, wow, well, they won! Yes. It's super, super Saiyan. Oh, man, I can't believe it. It was, it was a talk I, of all my friends when uh, that was happening. I strictly recall. Watching Trunks show up in the show for the first time this is on, the water on, tank, by the on way. Toonami. And I was watching it with my parents in the background, and they said, Nothing happened. This is stupid. Why are you watching this? I was like, No, you don't understand. <laughs> Trunks is cool. See, I was brought into anime from 80s anime. You know, Dragon Ball Z was my second anime I ever watched. 
Tenchi Muyo, you're first. Voltron. Voltron was your first. Voltron 86. Huh. Da, dun, da, 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 da. <laughs> now, that's a really exciting show, and Netflix did them dirty. <laughs> Not as dirty as the 3D uh, series did. That was that was a thing of awful. Voltron, the third dimension. In 1997 ah. 3D animation. Oh, I like this area. Look at it. It's, it's the same room we were just in, but now it's filled with water. That's cool. It must be cold. I really wish we had the gravity suit that Adam would let us use it, but Samus, no. You're in the you're in the ice area, not the water area. Get it right. But I'm in an ice area that has water in it. Ice and water aren't the same, Samus. <laughs> just imagine if he actually said that out loud. Ice and water aren't the same thing. You don't know more than me. That's not true, Adam. Well, I, I have men that disagree, right, Anthony? That's true. Ice and water are not the same, sir. Yeah, you kiss ass. I see why I left the Federation now. It's becoming more <laughs> clear every day. Oh, God. They're full of idiots. They don't pay attention to reasoning. They care more about protocol than actually helping people. And, oh yeah, they make Metroids! Is it bad that I've... Scene. Oh, more of these guys. It, Great, cool. Is it bad that I've experienced this type of toxic masculinity recently? I'm, I'm sure. Is it also bad that it's my boss? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty bad, I'd say. If, if he's a boss, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Does he have equal uh, hiring statures, or is he uh, just like, women can't cook? <laughs> okay, no, not that extreme. Oh, but it's but it's one of those where you know you disagree with him. He's like, no, I'm right. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay. Well, you're not, but whatever. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. See, I'm hesitant to shoot them. Yeah. So it looks like at this point you have to use missiles. All right. So, well, when they have electricity, use the missiles, and that'll probably disengage it so they can take more regular damage. That's what it's looking like. All right. I remember when I first played this, like, when it first came out, this is around the time when I kind of stopped because these things seemed invincible. Mm. I don't think it was here, but we're ga kind of getting close to it. Okay, yeah, it looks like the Nuh-uh is... Well, actually, that that doesn't make sense either. Because I was about to say, the first part is for beam only, the second part's for missiles, but they were swatting away your, your beam at at a certain point. Maybe those tentacles swat away the missiles. If I freeze them, then they won't. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because look, they can't use them. And, and they, then when they get electrocuted, they can use them again. Just, just my stupid, useless uh, boss won't tell me this. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if you were to tell me some things about these enemies. It's like, Samus, try freezing their antennas. Instead, he just yells at me to not use things and then yells at me when I, when I don't respond. So if Adam... I'm trying to get a hold of him, but as soon as I die, it's like, Samus, wait, what's happening? If Samus, or sorry, if Adam became your Navi, would you hate him more or less? If I've, he actually gave you legitimate tips. Well, he's not really, he's not really, uh, interacting with me in a meaningful way. No, he's kind of ignoring you. He, he kind of is, so he's, le he left me open to basically stew about my own thoughts about him. He's not doing anything to dissuade my, uh, my tenacity towards him. Like, he, d he doesn't give me a word of praise, doesn't say good job, Samus, he just, he's, it's, it's all business. But Samus is like all about that. That's what he loves about you know. You know, Samus loves Adam, and I, I don't I don't feel that towards him. I, you know, Samus is not convincing me that Adam is somebody worth it. Although this is kind of neat. I'm like, all right, speed booster. I'm just gonna have to go and backtrack, I guess, because I don't have the speed booster. I'm getting a call. The yep. Most Here we go. Here should be delivering Perfect timing. With your speed booster. So I'm authorizing it to use. So when I think backtracking is the best way to do, right before I get to the door, it tells me I should use my speed booster. So the speed booster, along with the shine spark, has been activated. You got the shine spark too? Mm-hmm. Woo! So that's part of it. That's how you're getting across. That's right. Ah, interesting. So thank you, Adam. We went through all that, and uh, now we are able to continue onward to the door we need to go to. See, that interaction actually makes sense. He saw that you couldn't go through. He's like, oh. That'd be a perfect place for a speed booster. All see, right. see, that's okay. I don't mind that too much. <laughs> I don't like that when I'm running, I can't see a goddamn thing that's happening. There's a discount on ramen at the superstore. Let's go. That is an e recovery tank. Oh. I think that means that when we concentrate, you know, when we get down to like lower health, you get an extra tank in the back. We get that we get an extra e tank back. 
Ooh, that's cool. That, that would have been a good skip to do that, and uh, that's essentially where we're going to be heading. That platform right up there might take okay. might take a couple of tries, but we can we can figure out some talking points in the meantime. No! Oh, oh my God! I heard there was a new shelf at IKEA that I want out off. Oh shit! Wrong way. <laughs> Would have, would have helped to have the nunchuck, but uh, nope, I gotta use this D-pad that doesn't really know which way I'm trying to push my Dude, big Dude, trust me, it would have been so bitty. cool had I gotten that the first try. You wouldn't even believe how cool that would have been. Well, let's call it the first try. That was a, that was a mess up. This is a mulligan now. See, what we're seeing here is, is this is just the other M experience. Nice! There we go. Very nice. I was really hoping you wouldn't accidentally, like, blast yourself backwards so you would have to do it all the... I mean, we gotta run up the stairs again, but... Okay, I, th I actually thought there was a pathway on there, and you just jumped off not seeing the pathway. You know what would have been cool? What? If there were, like, some dialogues in between. Like, if we're just going from one room to another. No enemies, no nothing. Oh, you, you think it's like, wow, she's going really fast. And, and Adam and Samus reminisce. It's like, hey, Adam. Yes, yeah, Samus. You remember that time when we, we were at the Galactic Federation, and, uh... We, we saw that creature and we shot it together. Yeah, I remember. You were pretty fast that day. Yeah, you too, yeah, just, yeah. So, something to make me believe that they have Interesting. something. Interesting. Instead, it just feels kind of one-sided. It's like, I loved him, he was my daddy, he cared, and Adam just seems like this uncaring jackass. I mean, it's it's, it's cool to to close this mystery that was in uh, Metroid Fusions, like, who's Adam Malkovich? I mean, it must be important to her, because he, she names her goddamn computer after him. Look at Mr. Metroid fan UDJ over here wanting more dialogue. Who is this guy? Where well, did he come from? Well, it's clear they want to go for the story route. I mean, this is this is Yoshio Sakamoto's vision. He wanted to tell a deep and impactful, meaningful story about Samus Aran's origins. I get that, sure, but eh, he didn't do it. He, he didn't do a very good job. What do you mean? This is perfect cinema. And this right here, this is perfect gameplay. He just sucked you dry. I think I think they put too much stock Shit. into one guy, and he d he didn't. He no, did tr no, trust me, guys. I've I've uh, I've learned from my sensei, uh, Mr. Uh, oh, he grabbed me out of the fucking water, Mr. John Romero, sensei. Please. When did that thing come alive? I just realized it's the first time it's actually attacked you. Yeah, it's 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 on to us now. It's uh it's like, hey, that, that thing's running around and doing stuff. It's wise to your antics. I could steal some energy from that. I heard how it drained water. I don't like it when it drains water, oh. I want the water. I'm gonna suck that thing dry. <laughs> Samus smoothie. Ah! There we go. There we go. Whatever. <laughs> and shine and... smart and ah! whoosh! There we go. That was pretty neat. I liked that. Do a little jump down here. Now let's do it again. Jump down here. Reserve tank. That's an E tank. Oh, that was a full E. We got okay. we got four E tanks now. Oh, thank God, there's a shortcut back up there. I thought they were actually gonna leave you out in the desert. There, there there's a way to get to get up there and oh, shine spark back. Thank but. the Lord. Oh, that's great. So thank you for that. Yeah, that was uh, that was something. What an episode! <laughs> what an episode. And we finally made it to the navigation room we need to go to. Oh, we gotta go to the next one. Thank you. I'm exhausted. I know! <laughs> we barely did anything. And yet... Exhaustion. We got the speed boost, though, so that's that's alright. That's pretty cool. We can go so, through this game faster so we can stop at cutscenes. Sounds good. That's great. I have, I'm having a little tantrum. Don't, don't <laughs> mind me. I, I love the post-save tantrums. Are they the best? Also filling up for time. Well, next time on Metro Another M, getting further into Sector Two. Yeah, I bet you that those other boys have gotten deeper into Sector Two without me. Probably. So, so yeah, that's how that works. Probably gonna have to go save him too. Oh, uh, probably. Or they're gonna have to save me. More likely. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>